<clears throat> Hello and welcome to Care Bears the Care Quests, or Care Bears Care Quests, as it says on the box. I can't imagine what kind of bullshit went down that changed the title from THE Care Quest to just Care Quests, but... You know, I'll never find out, so might as well not think about it too hard. Care Bears the Care Quests is a minigame collection, where the minigames are called Quests. Which seems, uh, like incredibly false advertising. You know, when I think quests, I think quests and not minigames. Not that minigames can't be quests if they're strung together with, you know, a compelling narrative or some sort of overarching goal, but that's not the case here. So there are 12 quests in total, and the first one does not leave a very good first impression. It's a memory matching game where the bears hold up an object and we have to match the objects. It's really, uh, not the kind of thing you'd buy a video game for. And it also takes forever. There are some positive things I can say about this memory matching game, though. Like, it does get more difficult as it progresses, unlike normal memory matching games, which are usually just, you know, a static number of objects that may be randomized upon replaying. But this one actually gets more complicated as it goes on. Granted, the level of complication is simply how many items there are, and not something such as new game mechanics or anything interesting, but it's more than nothing. I don't like how the sound when we knock on the walls is like this bashing sound when we're knocking on curtains. That's very weird. So anyway, this first mem- mem- excuse me. This first quest goes on for five fucking minutes, which is way too long, and it's not a good indication of the rest of the game, where most of the quests do not take this fucking long, and most of the quests are unique. You know, not unique as in... unique from each other, but unique as in... they're not something you've already seen a billion times before and is really boring. So we're just, uh, we're just gonna skip to the end of this memory matching game, okay? Okay, the rest of the minigames are a lot better. Alright, it's time for the second quest. Which is, well, it's hide and seek. The Care Bears are hiding behind little tufts of clouds and we have to find them. We find them by walking up to the cloud and pressing A. Unlike the first minigame, I mean, sorry, quest, which took fucking forever, this one lasts only three rounds. Or three levels, as the game calls them. There are occasionally power-ups such as shoes, which allow you to run faster, which makes sense, because until you grab shoes, the Care Bears are apparently not wearing any shoes at all. So, you know, running faster while you have shoes makes perfect sense to me, because you're less worried about destroying your legs and feet. Seems to make sense. Uh, the little clouds in the bottom right are an indicator of how far we've gotten in the minigame. For example, we have to get four friends, or seek four friends, I guess. I don't understand how this in particular is a quest, it's just playing hide-and-seek with people. Very bad hide-and-seek because there's so little places to hide. You may be wondering why I'm not acting like this game is some sort of punishment or abject, uh, abject suffering or a blight on video games or some shit like that, and that's just because it's not. There's nothing particularly funny or awful or horrendous about this video game. It does what you'd expect a video game like this to do. It's relatively glitch-free. It functions, probably good for the target audience. The game is marketed toward early childhood. That's what it says on the box, not E for everyone, it says early childhood. So, you know, considering that, it could definitely be worse. I've seen a lot of games rated E like a <laughs> certain Dora game, which are much worse than this. This game actually is kind of challenging at some points, which is shocking. In this quest, we have a heart swinging back and forth, and we can press the A button to shoot it to make these sad people all lovey and huggy. And we have to make the sad people hug each other in order to fill up our score and complete the level. So, it's pretty simple. The hitbox on the stars is really lenient. As you're about- yeah, there you go, as you saw. It's a pretty simple game. Uh... 
but it's it's I didn't quite expect it something this uh I don't know if inventive is the word but something this not bad something this varied in a game like this like that obviously someone knew things about game design when they made this is what I'm trying to say here someone designed this mini game with challenge in mind you can't move the care bear back and forth the uh the heart moves in a set pendulum there are clouds that block you from just spamming the hearts at the stars. You have to hit the stars in such a way that they're capable of hugging each other before they walk off the screen. There's depth here to this minigame. And Care Bears, the Care Quests. And you know, especially uh, in the middle of Monster High, I think it's important to show that you can make children's games that are good and not awful. Like, this game, according to the ESRB, is explicitly for, like, three-year-olds and up. And it still has more gameplay depth and challenge than Monster High 13 Wishes. There's still so much more going on here. If we hit that hourglass, we get extra time, but that's really not necessary for this minigame. But yeah, this is a good minigame. You actually have to, you know, fucking think while playing it. And that's appreciated, you know, you have to aim, you have to use your brain. I mean, when's the last time you used your brain? Huh? Because Care Bears Quirk, 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 uh, Care Bears the Care Quest is a good brain exercise, and... I really feel like they oughta, uh, they oughta put that on the back of the case. Care Bears Care Quests is a good brain exercise, and I feel like that's a good advertisement. Especially for three-year-olds. You know, you want your three-year-old to use their brain, so they can do the thinking. I don't like how the stars explode after they hug each other. That seems a little unfortunate. I feel like there should be a way to share love without exploding into dust when you're done. Maybe they're supposed to be teleporting, but it sure as hell does not look like teleporting to me. You know, the sprites in this game aren't bad. They're not exactly fantastic by Game Boy Advance standards, but they're not awful or anything, you know? The game looks okay. Nothing about the game looks offensive, except for maybe that first minigame did not look so good. First minigame, easily the worst looking and worst playing minigame. I don't like how you get booted back to the title screen every time. Oh, here's the big one, the big minigame, the one that is the most challenging and most required me to actually think. So in order to get these star buddies over obstacles, we have to place rainbows which cause them to bounce. But the rainbows disappear after a certain period of time. So we have to be very careful to place the rainbows at just the right time, so that way the stars can make it across before the rainbows disappear. When they reach the end of the stage, we get our score, and we, we pass the level, if they've all gotten there. So, you know, it's it's pretty... not It's not the kind of thing I would expect in a game like this, to say the least. This is easily the best minigame of the bunch. In terms of, you know, design and polish and... Actually requiring input from the player. There are many games in Ratchet & Clank's size matters with less depth than this, really. But the mini games in Ratchet and Clank size matters, and I tolerate those less because I'm I'm kind of trying to play a different kind of game, you know. And I don't I don't I don't want to play your Lemmings knockoff if I'm trying to play Ratchet and Clank. Really, I don't, especially if I needed to get armor that I want to. Pres this isn't about Ratchet and Clank. This is about Care Bears: The Care Quests, which is a much different game for very young children, and it's a very good game for very young children, and it's an okay game if you're not a very young children. Alright, so this right here, this final level of this minigame, this is the big one. Uh, the time limit is surprisingly strict. We need to get five star buddies to the end before time runs out. And uh, if they run into any obstacles, then they restart back at the beginning of the level. So we need to make sure to very carefully Place our rainbow bridges at the exact moment we need to. 
And when we get to the halfway point, we need to trap the Star Buddies in that harmless area. So that way we can get the last one in the same area with the rest of them. And after we, we corral all five Star Buddies in this center area right here, we can get them all to the finish. As long as we place the Rainbow Bridges at just the right time. Uh, this level actually took me by surprise. I was not expecting to have to think this hard about a minigame and Care Bears Care Quests. This minigame may actually be a little too hard for the intended target audience. That being said, I was surprised. Alright, so I think that's probably a decent look at Care Bears the Care Quests. Uh, it's okay. There's nothing wrong with it, really, except for that first minigame is really boring and leaves a very bad taste. But, uh... Oh, actually, this minigame is kind of cool. I should explain this one before we stop. So we're playing volleyball, and whenever we catch the ball, we press the control, st sorry, the control pad in a certain direction, and we throw the ball in that direction. It will then bounce off walls, and we have to try and get it past the other bear. So it's kind of like Pong mixed with volleyball. It's actually a pretty cool video, uh, mini game. I actually quite like this one. Uh, the AI is obviously flawed. It moves much slower than you do and isn't perfect because otherwise the game would be unplayable or it would take several years to score a single point. So it's appreciated the AI is not infallible is what I'm saying. But this minigame is actually actually fun and cool, and it controls in a nice way. I don't know, I, I mean, maybe my standards are a little low, but I think this is kind of fun and unexpected for a game like this, to see a minigame like this appear. Especially with uh, this kind of control scheme. I like the mix between Pong and Volleyball, and how easy it is to knock the ball in the direction you want. It's very simple, but it's, it's very fun. So that's, uh, that's Care Bears the Care Quests. There are other minigames. I think, as I said, there are 12 quests in total. But this is the last one that's really super interesting to look at. There are a couple of 2D platforming minigames. Uh, there's uh, a lot of minigames about giving presents to people. And uh, there's some minigames about flying around hitting people with sleep dust because it's nappy time. But this is really the last super interesting one. That being said, none of the minigames aside from the first one are really bad or anything, and this is a pretty okay game. There's nothing funny or horrendous or awful about this video game. It just does what it's supposed to, and it's not bad. And I feel like that's important to praise, instead of make fun of, or, you know, like, just shit on. There's nothing, like, wrong with this game, really. At least nothing wrong that would, uh, hamper the entire experience. So, that's Care Bears Care Quest. Uh, I'm probably never gonna play it again after this, but if I were made to play it again for some reason, I wouldn't, like, bitch about it. It wouldn't hurt me to play it again. Because it's okay. It's an okay game. And that's important.